Hi, one best VR videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. Of course, we do a regular uh, Odds Couple show, show called The Odds Couple, covering the NBA. This is a very special edition of The Odds Couple, covering Super Bowl 50, Mike Brenner. Super Bowl 50, buddy. God, I remember when we were at, what, Super Bowl 10, 12? Yeah. Oh, well, not yeah. you, because you're not an old man like I me. I remember Super Bowl. I remember, but. Mike Brenner, you've been kicking ass, flat out kicking ass in, our, in the NBA version of this show. Is, are you as good at handicapping the Super Bowl as you are at NBA? The Super Bowl, well, I'm going to go with this. National Anthem, we'll let them just. Oh, kidding. no, I, have, ah, I love the national anthem prop. Yeah, I have there a, I is have that a... prop. Uh, it depends. Certain Super Bowls I kick back, right. and I just don't see the edge. Uh, we'll get into that, but I got a feeling I kind of know which way you're going here. But Well, Super Bowls are, are, are always interesting. Sometimes there's sharp public splits. Sometimes there's not. Right. Sometimes there's a lot of line movement. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes there's a very competitive spread. Sometimes there's not like we have this year. So we're going to discuss uh, the information that we've uh, received over the week. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to give our picks, and we're going to get a newlywed game style, where I'm going to try to guess what he picked, and then he's going to flash his, uh, you know, his actual pick, and then he's going to try to guess what my pick is. I'm going to flash it. And then after that, we're going to discuss, of course, props. And actually, yeah. like, props betting is almost more important and, and, and more interesting right. than the actual game spreads, and not just from the uh, perspective of recreational bettors. I know one... Uh, I'll say outfit, professional gambling uh, outfit, that uh, they max out their 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 bets yeah. on Super Bowl props. There is clear and, and, and well-known value, value, yes, yeah. with Super Bowl props. Uh, the pros do it, and, and the value can be there for a recreational bet as well. All right, so let's start with uh, what we've heard over the week. The first thing that we have to mention, clear, public, and sharp split on this game. Did you watch my uh, DSI video uh, this week? Yeah, 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 and I do. I agree. It is. It's clear. It's as clear as, as I, and I don't understand it. That, well, that's kind of puzzling me a little bit, and I think I think the sharp money is really going to come in strong a little later. Right, that's what I was thinking. But I think this year there's more public money that have nothing to do with gambling or bet before. Yeah, yeah, sure, just sure. throwing sure. it in there. And oh, just that's going always the emotions. case with the Super Bowl. Because you know, that, that... people are tied up in what what's happening in Carolina, you know, so. I, yeah, I mean, normally you think of Peyton Manning as something that attracts, I mean, when he was with the Colts, you know, yeah. it was just it was every week in and week out, huge public side. Yes. But the line got driven up because the public is overwhelmingly on the Panthers, and yeah. I guess because they're enamored Cam Newton. Yeah. And uh, sharp money, big yeah. sharp money, according to, you know, Brent and everyone I've spoken to, came in on Denver as an underdog. What, what's your take on that situation, Mike Brenner? Well, I just, I mean... I mean, I'm not going to throw my pick out there, but there's some people that are doing their homework. If you've mm -hmm. noticed, Denver's right. been real quiet through this whole process. Cam Newton, every, you know, that team's excited, and rightfully so. He's the MVP. They had a phenomenal season. Definitely took me by surprise and kept on doing what they did. They won, won, won. But something's going to give in this game. What, what I did find out, though, is a lot of people are jumping on the fact that when it first opened, was it like right. four, four and it, a half? The early openers at three and a half that I saw. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of real sharp money went early on. Uh -huh. right? That's what I heard now. That but. Might be, right. I mean, that might be the case because uh, obviously they were correct. I mean, when I talked to Brent, he was like, the opening number was wrong. He yeah. just admitted it. The opening number was, uh, exactly. was, yeah, was a little bit off. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, you know, we do our calls throughout the week. One guy I really respect, this guy Doug Upstone, he's yeah. absolutely killed it in the NFL year in and year out. I did the same thing. I guessed his pick. I was like, I think you're going to be on the Broncos because all the sharp guys are on the Broncos, yeah. supposedly. Yeah. He shocked me. He likes Carolina minus five and well, a half. You know, it's, it's, it's getting a lot of attention because what they're doing is unheard of. I mean, they dismantled Arizona. Mm -hmm. Dismantled them. Right. Now, look, Arizona had a lot of, uh, you know, they shot themselves in the foot. There was a lot of turnovers. I don't think this offense for Denver is going to have the turnovers nowhere near it. Peyton mm -hmm. Manning is a total different quarterback. Right. He now knows he just has to manage this game, doesn't have to depend on the arm. So the factors, the dynamics into this are totally different than any of the, the Panthers' playoff games. You is, know? Is there, all right, so before we, uh, we get Because I, I talked to another guy in Vegas right, that you, that you and I you. both, and he said that the fact that they haven't been on this stage before doesn't harm them. He's all mm -hmm. over. He, he likes if he had a lean, it would be Carolina. And I'm talking, I'm not even going to put his name out right, there. Right, right, sure, sure. But I was a little surprised because he was so against Denver, thinking there's no way, I don't care how good the defense is. I'm, I'm from old school, defense wins championships. Right. Tell me something I don't know about that, Pete. Well, because ever since Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, the NFL has become, a, it's, it's all about the passing game, you know? In the in, in the 60s and 70s, sure, the uh, defense won championships in the NFL. Now, it's whoever's got, you know, the biggest yeah. passing game with tight ends and receivers and Tom Brady and everything. Okay, well, with that being said, yeah. Denver's defense is solid. They just shut down one of the best passing games in football. Sure. All right, and one of these guys in Vegas told me, oh, 
Brady had an off day. I, I'm not buying that bullshit. Brady brings it in the playoffs. He literally went to Wade Phillips, said it was the best defensive scheme he has yeah. ever faced in his career. So I don't think he had a, an off day. He had Edelman. He had all of them. Amadola, they were all healthy. Right. So now you're giving Wade Phillips two weeks to, to study for this offense. with Without Cam Newton, there is no exactly. offense right. there. Well, all right? I don't know. I'm just... And then one other thing we have to mention before we get to the picks, the total has taken a move yes, since, we, uh, since we last checked in. Yep. It was a 45. It opened like 45 and a half, 45. Sharp yep. action came in at 45 and a half. Then it was 45 for a long time. Now, 44 and a half. And Pinnacle, 44. It's 44 at Pinnacle. Someone bet that. I'm assuming that that was some kind of like big sharp action came in on the under. That's not that the public midweek decided, you know what, we're all going to go bet on the under. No, that's sharp action right there. It's got to be. All right, so what does that tell you about the likely uh, outcome of this game, maybe defense-oriented? I think we've uh, discussed what we've uh, heard over the week enough. Uh, let's get to our picks. Who should go first? You want you want to guess mine first? Or I'll no, guess I first? want you to guess mine You want first. me to guess yeah. your first? Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that, okay. that would be okay. a little more enjoyable. Okay. Okay, Mike Brenner, but what 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 pick do I think that you would make? I would guess he's got no clue. Maybe maybe first half. <laughs> he's maybe buying. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a first half pick on the favorite Carolina Panthers minus three. That's my bet. My my prediction for your pick. Let me see it. Did you write it down? No. No. Ah, wrong. Okay. What that, is your pick? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Pick, Flash it up. Flash my, it up. Uh, my, you, oh, I, no, I wrote down what I thought you were gonna. My pick. I'm telling you, my pick verbally. Right, right. I wrote down what I thought you were going to have. No, no, no. Oh, I screwed no, that you're, up. You're, it's like the newlywed game. Well, so we, just did, hey, we just did a commercial video, and we were hammering <laughs> shots of vodka. Okay, seriously, all right, so I okay. got a little hall pass. All right, but tell us what your pick is. My pick is Broncos on the money line plus 206. Wow. Plus 206 wow. today wow. available at Pinnacle. Wow. Absolutely. Broncos on the money, money I line. Can't, wow, I can't say I disagree I with it. I just don't think the points are going to make a difference as far as on the side with Denver. I like the value. They're quiet, their defense is good, and I got a feeling they're just going to rally around. They're going to find a way to shut Cam Newton down. And if he gets rattled early, Cam Newton, that's when he's going to start making and the mistakes have, he hasn't made all year. How much were you swayed by, like, hearing about Sharp? Because I admit, I'm, I'm, yeah. look, I'm completely swayed. I'm a slave to reports of Sharp action. If you yeah. tell me the Sharps, like, you know, took a piss in the corner, I'm going to be like, yeah, I think I want to do that too, you know? Yeah, of course. And I think it's more mind. It's psychological than anything because, shit, sometimes we're Sharp. So yeah. Sharp, sometimes. Sharp, we wise, are all right. Analytics, I don't know. Uh, I'm not not much of it swayed. I'm just looking at coaching. I'm looking at the platform where they've been, and I'm hearing no noise out of Denver's locker room. I'm hearing a whole lot of shit out of Carolina's, and rightfully so. Cam Newton is a beast. He says he's all of the whatever the great five, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Right, the, right. You know, he's everything. He's Superman. He's Batman. He's all of it. But guess what? You're fitting to fa a face a defense you haven't faced yet this year. So Mike Brenner, we have his pick: Denver Broncos on the money, money line. line. Baby, all right, plus you. Six. Okay, you want to guess my pick? I do, I do, and I'm going to tell you what I think you're going with, and I, I just, totals low shack is total low shack mm -hmm. for a reason, mm -hmm. but I think you're going to go with the over. The There's over. something that tells me you like the over, you see Newton putting up some points, and you see Peyton Manning pulling it out. It's an interesting, it's an interesting analysis. I will tell you that uh, that when I saw the total uh, dip down, I wasn't ready to uh, to tail that. I'm, I'm not sure what I think about the uh, the total yet. But as far as my pick for the game, it is ladies and gentlemen, Denver Broncos oh, minus plus the plus six. six. Minor, you almost gave yeah, away yeah, right. six. Denver plus Broncos six. plus a six. I'm shocked. I'm That's shocked. my bet. That's my I'm bet. I, no disrespect to a Cam Newton, but again, like what now you just said. Now let me ask you this on yeah. camera: Is it going to be a nibble or a bite, as you always it's, put it? It's it's I've already bet it. I already bet it at okay. six. I got it at six minus one hundred eight, and it is uh, it is. He's solid. been known to drop five dimes on the Super Bowl. <laughs> it it so. is just <laughs> it is just a solid standard issue yeah. bet. It's not huge, but it's it's it, it's big. It's normal normal size bet. Yeah, Denver Broncos bet. plus six. I already bet it, and now we can get on to props. I also bet have also bet already two props. Okay, two props that I have bet uh, that I think there's value with. Uh, You're not talking geez. about that Beyonce's footwear, are you? No. Okay. But I do have. Well, let's start with the stupid props first. Okay. National anthem, Lady Gaga, right? Shit. Now she's from New York. I'm from New York. You know, people we're not showy. <laughs> she's going to do something, or she wants to be cool. Yeah. You know, it might be a little bit weird or wacky or whatever, but it's not going to be drawn out. 
under right now. Wow, it's you like the under. Yeah, see, I, th I see. When you started saying New York and Gaga, I'm thinking no, 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 over because no, 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 no. they can tend to talk and talk. I'm from no, Philly and yes. I can talk. So. Yes, but they they will. She'll she'll do something attention grabbing. Sure, uh, a nipple but slip. It, it's maybe. Oh, yes, nipple sure. slip. Remember Janet Jackson? Don't forget that one. Look, maybe she'll show the whole vagina. Oh, I don't God. know, but she's not gonna. She's not gonna. She's happily married now, and I think she's even thinking about being a mother. So that might be gone. That was the old Gaga. Whatever she's gonna do, it's not gonna be drawn out and extended for like seconds upon okay. seconds you upon like seconds. The under on I that. like the under. You can get 216 and a half at minus 130 or 220 at minus 160. Wow. I didn't bet that yet, but that is <laughs> that's a that's an official pick. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so now we can get to some interesting pop Peyton Manning. I mean, you know, it seems to me the quarterback has won the MVP I, I, yeah. for seven out of the last nine Super Bowls. Yep. And here we got Cam Newton and Peyton Manning. Is there any way that one of them doesn't win the MVP this year? What do you think? I, no, no. Not unless uh, Von Miller got eight sacks and returned two in Right. Section for touchdowns, so that's not happening. There's no way it's got to be one of the two. I mean, who else in Carolina that can you even mention on offense? But besides Greg Olson, and right. he's not going to do it. So yeah, that's so a no maybe. I mean, you could get uh, these are heritage lines: Cam Newton minus one forty-five, Peyton Manning plus three seventy. You could hedge that out, and if yeah. either one of them wins, it's minus four. Yeah, well, if they both get hurt, then you're screwed. Right. That's no. true. That's no. true. That's true. But I mean, you like you like uh, Denver at plus uh, whatever it was two hundred six. Why not just bet Peyton Manning to win the MVP at plus three seventy? Is there if any way? Is there any now. way Denver? wins and Peyton mm. doesn't get MVP. Yes. There is. Okay. There yeah. On that side, the other side, no, it'll be Cam Newton or everything. I mm -hmm. think on the other side of the ball, it could be one of those receivers, whether it's Sanders or Thomas, if they have an extraordinary game. But Or a defensive or Von but, Miller. But guess what? If he just manages that offense and does, you know, little drips and dinks down the field, mm -hmm. he could get it for managing the offense with his efficiency if he doesn't throw any interceptions. So right. I don't know. That's that's a tricky one. All right. Well, there's I'll tell you another a prop that I bet, which is sort of a supported by the lean to by, by the the market move to the under. Special teams or defensive touchdown. The yes is plus one sixty, the no yeah. is minus one eighty. And I Took the no. Now Luke Kuechly did have a you know an interception yeah. return for a touchdown yeah. in each and of the two playoff games, but but that what are the odds of him getting another one? Honestly, so, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would price this one more around minus two fifty, minus yeah. two seventy, maybe Take even minus three hundred. You know, Peyton Manning's going to be prepared for that. If anyone knows how to avoid that, it's going to be him. Yeah. Uh, in Denver's last ten regular season games, there are only two games with the special teams or defensive touchdown. In the Panthers' last ten regular season games, there are only three. Wow. Probably yep. So uh, so I would price this more like two. 250, 275, maybe even mm -hmm. minus 300 at minus 180. I bet it. What do you think about that? I, I think it's good. That's solid. That's worth the risk. I think right. that makes sense in doing homework. Check this prop out. Let's see I it. saw where Cam Newton, all right, is, I mean, Peyton Manning is favored to have more attempts and more completions That's right. than That's Cam right. Newton. That's right. And who would think that? You know what that is? That's the respect the books are given to this defensive secondary of the Denver Broncos. Well, I'm I think it's also... That's even more reason I liked my money line play right there. Yeah, and, and now we can get to the quarterback props, because obviously the quarterback props, uh, it's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, uh, you could. There, is there anything from the quarterback props, either with completions, attempts, uh, passing yards, touchdowns? Uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of interesting. Peyton Manning, uh, based on his regular season and results, mm -hmm. it would seem like the under for uh, for touchdowns for him okay, it would, would be a good But bet. don't you think but this, this also, we all right? know the cat got out of the bag at the 50-yard mm -hmm. line, all right? This is last rodeo. Right, we know so, that. Right. Don't you think he is absolutely, he's going to empty the tank. He's going to leave everything he's ever had on this field. Sure. Wouldn't it be wonderful, and I'm speaking for me because mm -hmm. I love the bet, if he threw five <laughs> touchdowns and just set a yeah. record. But who knows? Who knows? I'll have some haters just eating me up on, on, on later on blogging, but that's okay. Sure. How about this one? Team to score first yeah. right now. And again, these are heritage odds. Panthers minus 130, Denver plus 114. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we like Denver, yep. you know. I look, like Denver to score first. Yeah. If Denver wins the coin flip, they could easily go down and get a field goal. Exactly. If Panthers win the coin flip, Denver could easily stop them on the first yeah. drive. Plus, and you, you touched on it earlier. Peyton's not going to make a bunch of mistakes like Carson Palmer did. Right. So that might be a key. I like that one. Minus 114. Yep. Yeah. No, plus 114. Oh, plus 114, 114 for oh, Denver. I'm jumping. On. That's what I'm saying. You got Panthers are the favorite minus 130, yeah. Denver plus 114, and that's just inherited. You might be able to find a better yeah. better Shop odds on that, that somewhere Absolutely. else. Yeah. Then I will tell you just quickly. I'll tell you the other one that I uh, that I bet and I like this one. You know, there's that prop. Are there going to be three unanswered scores or four unanswered yeah. scores? Yeah, I remember that. Couple I years see ago. this one as being relatively close, low scoring, and I bet the no on that one. I actually took four unanswered right. scores on the no. I'm laughing because last time 90. this prop when Denver was with Seattle in that mm -hmm. Super Bowl and. My my God, they got pounded, and I, I got my I, my lunch got eaten. That day. So I want to get it back. I don't think it's going to happen this time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen either. I think it, about four yeah. unanswered scores in a game like this yeah. with the total going down. I took the no at minus two ninety, and then uh, like uh, you know. That. 
I like that. Yep. That's sharp. And then there's other props. Do you have anything to say about this? The sacks prop is five. Yeah. Total touchdowns is five. Total touchdowns five. The over is minus 115. The under is minus 101. I like the I like the under and the sacks because uh, Peyton knows how to get rid of it when he needs to, and Newton mm -hmm. will avoid it. I, I, th I like the under in that. I think yep. that's sharp. And here's another one. I didn't bet it, but I'm thinking about it. Uh -oh. I'm thinking about He's it. Thinking. Largest lead of the game, right? Woo! Thir 13 and a half points. The under is plus 175. Jesus, God. Do you think either team is going to get out to a two touchdown If anybody's going to have a huge lead like that, it's going to be Carolina. Mm -hmm. If there's right. any blowout right. in this Super Bowl, I think it'll be Carolina. Right. And I mean that. I'm pulling for Denver, but I don't see Denver getting anywhere near that. Could Carolina? If Hell, I didn't think they could do it last week, and they did. So I wouldn't touch that one. All right, fair enough. That's again, that's one that that's I'm thinking a about. There. That's not a right, play. right, right. <laughs> and uh, all right, uh, there, there's a ton of props that, that that we could get to, but I think we got to wrap this up. Are there any other props that you'd like to mention? Uh, we actually, to? there was just one interesting one with the tight ends, but it's even you know who's going to get more receptions, mm -hmm. Olsen or Daniels, and I think they're both going to be a key part of this game because Newton is going to have to change a little of that game plan because of this defense. So I like Daniels to to, to wrap that up. And, all right, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap this up here now. It's a ton of props we could discuss. We can discuss this for hours. Yeah, I'm, I ready, will... I'm ready for kickoff, man. Yes. It's about damn time. But on, look for this one, Mike Manner. Tomorrow, I am going to be doing a call with Bet DSI where we're going to get all the information from him on the sharp action that he's taken okay. on Super Bowl props. And well, that can be very back. telling in many ways. You can tail the props. Absolutely. You can use it to inform your uh, other bets on the game. Make and sure that... you fill me in so we can let I our will. viewers know. For, for real. sure. Get that video will edge. be out tomorrow. Mike Brenner. Thanks so much. Good nice luck, show, Super buddy. Bowl 50, Mike. All right.